Hi everybody, today we are going to discuss some important topics of Google Cloud Associate exam. So these topics are object life cycle management, object versioning, different cloud storage upload options and at last we will see cloud storage commands. There are different cloud storage commands that are very important from exam point of view. So guys as all of you know that we are continuing one GCP cloud associate exam playlist in which what we usually do is first we will discuss the theory part after that we will solve the question based on the theory part and at the end of the playlist after completing all the topics of this series we will do a practical in which we will cover all the concepts so guys this video is going to be a bit longer because we are covering a lot number of topics so our first topic is object life cycle management so as all of you know that we have different cloud storage options that we have studied in last video like we have near line code line archive and a standard okay so guys let's suppose you want to move any object from near line to code line storage because as all of you know that near line is bit more expensive than code line so that's why we should keep on moving our object from more expensive cloud storage option to lesser expensive cloud storage option if the relevant of that object is no more okay so this functionality has been achieved by object life cycle management it helps in moving files automatically between different object storage classes so when you are going to use this object life cycle management then it is going to ask you two kinds of action the first one is set a storage class and the next one is deletion so let's say if you want to move any object from near line to code line then you can see set a storage class to code line after 90 days or after 60 days like that so if we write this then it will move your object from near line to code line after 60 days similarly you can write your action for deletion also like delete my object from code line after 60 days like that okay so let's take a question on this you can see here the question is you need to set up a policy so that videos are stored in a specific cloud storage regional bucket are moved to code line after 90 days and then deleted after one year from creation how will you set the policy so as soon as you see in the question that they are talking something about setting up a policy to move object then you should go for which contains cloud storage object life cycle management so based upon that we can choose option a and b we can neglect c and d now we have to choose the correct one between a and b using set storage class action to 90 days and delete action to 365 days and here they are saying that set a storage class action to 90 days and delete actions to 275 days here we have to keep one thing in mind that delete action starts from the day of creation so obviously option b will be wrong option a will be right okay i hope you got this point very clearly now let's move to the next topic that is object versioning so the first question arises to your mind like why do we need object versioning so guys there are chances that you accidentally deletes any object in your gcp then in that case if there is no object versioning concept then it will delete the object but that object may be very important to you so it helps in preventing accidental deletion and provides history so there are two types of object like live object and non-concurrent object so if you delete the live object then it will become non-concurrent object and if you would have deleted this live object accidentally then you can bring this non-concurrent object to live object okay now let's suppose you have deleted your non-concurrent object then it will delete your object permanently from the cloud i hope you get this point now let's move to the question so you can see the question here in regional storage objects with object live version enabled what is the effect of deleting a live version object and non-concurrent object the live version is deleted permanently and non-concurrent version is deleted permanently here they are saying that the live version becomes non-concurrent version and the non-concurrent version is deleted permanently so i think the option b is correct according to our concept because non-concurrent object is deleted permanently but when we delete live object then it becomes non-concurrent object so i think object versioning concept is also clear to all of you now let's move to the next concept so our next concept is cloud storage uploading and downloading object so there are multiple ways of uploading the cloud object so there are different ways like streaming upload, parallel upload, multi-part upload and so many. But these three things are important. So first one is streaming upload. So it means that upload an object of unknown size. If you have object of unknown size then in that case you should go for streaming upload. 
now there is parallel upload also larger files divided into a smaller and smaller chunks and then we upload the object parallelly and hence it is very faster and the next part is multi part upload it allows you to upload a single file as set of parts and let's suppose if transmission of any parts fails then you can upload that object without affecting other parts i hope you get the point so most important thing parallel upload okay so let's discuss some question based upon this so you can see here you have a collection of media files over 50 gb each you need to migrate to gcp which method you can use to help speed up so use multi threaded uploads using minus m option use cloud transfer service to transfer start a recursive upload use parallel upload to break the file into smaller chunks then transfer it simultaneously so this is the right answer because if we do like this then it helps us in uploading a large file very easily to the gcp okay so the answer will be d now let's move to the next topic so our next topic is important cloud storage commands so guys in order to store file on gcp i mean google cloud storage you have to use gsutil command please remember this gsutil command store each of our file in different buckets okay and these buckets are placed at different regions in different zones according to your needs and requirement so let's suppose if you are trying to make any bucket then in that case you have to use command gsutil mb stands for make bucket gs then you have to give your bucket name and it will make a bucket okay but it will make bucket in your uh, default region if you are not giving any region here then it will create the bucket in the region in which your project is located now if you want to copy data from one bucket to other bucket then in that case you have to use cp command gs util cp source bucket name then you have to mention here destination bucket name and destination object so it will move sorry it will copy object from source bucket to destination bucket now there is one more important command here that is gsutil sign url minus d so let's suppose you have one bucket in gcp okay now you want to give access to somebody but you want to give him access only for 10 minute so how can you give them access so in that case you have to use concept of sign url so let's suppose if you are using gsutil sign url Minus D. It is stand for default duration. So if you want to give access to somebody of your bucket for a particular amount of time, in that case you should go for minus D command. So you can use GS util sign URL minus D. Now let's suppose if you have to use some HTTP method like put, post, delete for your object, then in that case you should for minus M command. You can use gs util sign url minus d 10 minute then you can give minus m put then you can upload the object okay and if you are using minus r it indicates region so if you use minus r here and give the region name in front of that then it will give the access to them in particular region okay so let's take some question based on this you can see here you are trying to provide temporary access to some file in google cloud storage bucket you want to limit the time that the files are available to 10 minute what is the best way you can see here create a service account and json key use the gs util sign url minus t 10 minute command and pass in the json key and bucket create a service account and json key use the gs util sign url minus d 10 minute command and pass in json key and bucket so the answer will be b because here we are using minus d it stand for duration and the answer will be b so guys there are two types of file format xml and json so here in object versioning in uh, gcp usually you use json file so whenever there is option of xml and json then you should choose json okay because we store in form of key value pair okay so i hope i have explained all the concepts very clearly so guys i request all of you to watch the previous video also and please stay tuned to watch the upcoming videos also and i am 100% sure that after watching all my video and concepts you will be easily clear this exam